Next, uh, we go for if you go for homologous series of organic compounds. Uh, actually, what do you mean by this homologous series of organic compounds? If you take uh, series of series of organic compounds for a series of organic compounds if differ if they differ by a member of member of CH2 group for a series of organic compounds, if they differ by a member of CH2 groups, CH2 groups is simply called as homolog, homologous series and uh, each CH2 group is called as individual homolog. individual homolog and uh, this homolog this homolog they have same chemical properties but different physical properties this is because they have same functional group because they have same functional group. Example, we can take plenty of examples to prove homolog. We take plenty of examples. Suppose I am giving you C3H8, CH3, CH2, CH3. You are finding one homolog. We go for C4H10. So you get CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. You are finding two homologs likewise if you go for likewise that means both of them they are differing by a member of CH2 group here you have one CH2 group here you have two CH2 groups so it increases in the geometrical progression it increases consequently every time you see that the number of carbons are increasing you find that the CH2 group also increases and that is why they are the, these two are different organic compounds but they are differing by a member of CH2 group here one CH2 group here two CH2 groups suppose I am giving you one more example this is A this is B suppose if I am taking COH this is an alcohol if it is alcohol alcohols have same though they are differing in the individual homolog from one carbon chain to another carbon chain in alcohols though they are having same uh, chemical properties because of the same functional group they differ in the individual homolog because of the increase in the number of carbon chains. Suppose I am taking CH3, CH2, OH. You are finding one CH2 group. This is ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol this is. If you take CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. This is propyl alcohol. But in ethyl alcohol, in ethyl alcohol we have one CH2 group. In propyl alcohol we have two CH2 groups but what is interesting here is here we have alcohol functional group and here also we have alcohol functional group. So we can confidently say that when you speak about the homologous series the pair of organic compounds they have same chemical properties because they have same functional groups but they differ in the homolog series because for every new alcohol for every new higher alcohol you are finding that more and more number of carbons are being introduced for every new carbon being introduced in a given chain a new individual member that is homolog member is introduced that's why they differ in the physical properties but their chemical properties remains intact because of the same functional groups so the next part of the discussion is nomenclature of organic compounds in nomenclature of organic compounds every organic compound properties 
every organic compound properties properties are known by functional group by functional group this functional group this functional group this functional group if it is principal if it is principal functional group we give secondary suffix if it is principal functional group if it is secondary suffix if the functional group sometimes if it is a substituent we give it as a primary prefix primary prefix and uh, for all hydrocarbons for all hydrocarbons for all hydrocarbons that is alkenes 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 and alkynes their functional groups alkenes al alkenes alkenes alkynes they are given primary suffixes primary suffixes so here when more than one when uh, more than one when more than one similar substituent substituent arises in chain it's given a numerical prefix it's given a numerical is given a numerical prefix then number of carbons in organic compound is always given by a root word if you take every organic compound every organic compound is made up of root word primary suffix primary suffix numerical prefix with the secondary suffix 